you think had a free pass getting where they are? And the answer is no. From Bill Gates on down, some would say, you will never make it. But the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people, the successful ones listen to what's in here. Tonight, we're going to get you to listen to that voice inside and do something big. Like my next guest, who told they failed for sure. Look what happened to them. The company, the laundress. It's luxury for a job no one loves. The Laundry. The Laundress is a line of specialty detergents made from organic materials and scientifically designed for individual fabric types, colors, and stains. But getting this company off the ground was a bigger chore by far. The founders were turned down again and again for loans and had to resort to a fundraiser to raise startup cash. Now, the laundress is available in more than 550 boutiques and, according to the company, did $700,000 in sales last year. Lindsay Weaver and Gwen Whitey, co-founders of Laundress. How are you doing, kids? Good, hi. All right, let's talk about your qualifications. You're working at, at Chanel and Ralph Lauren. You've done how much as far as making a detergent in your life before? Nothing. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Zero qualifications. All we knew is we had dirty clothes. Okay, so your qualifications are <laughs> for dirty clothes, basically. Yeah. Okay, so how did you get this thing? Well, you guys are working in these great companies. You have no qualifications to start this business. So what came over you and said, let's do it anyway? It was really just the, the idea and being passionate about what we needed to do. I want to stop right there. Idea and passion. Go on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, basically, Lindsay and I were sitting down at the diner and talking about our dirty laundry. And you guys, it must have been fun days. <laughs> yeah, it was hot. Yeah, it was really hot. Um, and, you know, Lindsay's talking about this amazing sweater that just got ruined and the dry cleaner, and I'm, you know, telling her about trips to New Jersey, to my mom's washing machine. And we knew we were spending two, more money on our dry cleaning than actually on our clothing. Basically, we were talking about all this great clothing, and you weren't able to loan their property. Exactly. When you first went to try and finance this project, mm -hmm. What do people tell you? Oh, this is, this is definitely an adventure for us. Um, a lot harder than we thought. We were actually overqualified and underqualified all the same. Help me out with that. Okay, so overqualified. We went, we thought women's business venture capital fund. Sure, no problem. We should be able to be, to qualify for that. We get there and actually we are overqualified. You were too overqualified to get yeah, the Yeah, right. And then too underqualified for traditional business loans. What would happen when you go in? They didn't understand what we were doing. They said luxury detergent. I mean, even so, I don't, I, you know, Tide is what I use, right? I mean, <laughs> the, the thinking, I, they didn't understand that. So it was a hard sale. We didn't have anything tangible, again, because we didn't have any money to make anything to really present. Um, all we had was our idea. You guys had a very untraditional way of raising money because you were told you weren't qualified or you were underqualified or overqualified. So you did something I've never heard of before. Yeah. We had a for-profit party. <laughs> Explain. Well, <laughs> we knew how to sell Splash. It was calm. So <laughs> Basically, we needed money. We borrowed $1,000 from a friend of mine and we needed to pay it back like in a week. Mm -hmm. So I'm riding the subway, I'm thinking, all right, how are we gonna pay this guy back? Well, let's throw a party. People have parties and charge for them all the time. So let's just do the same thing, but <laughs> have a purpose. <laughs> yeah, so we served our idea, invited current boyfriends, ex-boyfriends, families, friends, everybody we knew. Anyway. And we got a friend to donate alcohol. We and got another charge? friend, what was it per head? $15 per head. Was it a good party at all? Yeah, it was okay. great. We had, we had a friend at the door collecting donations for the laundress idea. How did we get a business over three hundred dollars And great. how much did you raise? It was great. It's uh, five, over $5,000. <laughs> you know, it's an extension of what we're talking about a lot. It's okay to reach out to friends and family instead of just going to people and say, lend us money. You basically yeah. threw a party and said, come on, we'll get you liquored up. Just give us some money. Right. Right. Anyway, <laughs> Gwen Whiting, co-founders of The Laundress. It's all about